afternoon everyone. Uh, thank you everyone for coming for this press conference and giving your valuable time. And we greatly appreciate your presence. I am Dr. Tepito, event director for the first ever Nagaland Potato Festival, which will be held on the 10th of May 2024 at the Jakama local ground, Jakama village, Kohima. Organizing a state level potato festival had been a long time dream for me personally. And when my friend, Mr. Noto, he came up with the idea of organizing a potato festival, I was really excited. So we went and approached some of our like-minded friends who are equally enthusiastic for such this organic products and organic farming. So we came up with this Nagaland Potato Festival. And so our main aim is to uh, promote this organic farming and helping the farmers. Nagaland State has 17 recognized tribes and all tribes celebrate their distinct festivals, you know, which are unique in their own way. And almost all of them they have to do with agriculture. We celebrate the farmers, we celebrate their yield, we celebrate the harvest, we celebrate the hard work. The Nagaland Potato Festival is a platform for our farmers. And it is the need of the hour. The potatoes produced here are unique and considered to be a delicacy. Plus, it is costlier than the general market potatoes. The market demand does not meet the supply. During the harvest season, customers come uh, from their own trucks and pickups to the field itself. And once it is harvested, they buy everything and go. And most of them are for their own self-consumption. And hardly any of the potato they reach the general market. Most of our rural farmers are still following the traditional tools, ways, and knowledge for the farming. So it is high time that we introduce the modern technologies and the modern knowledge to our farmers, uh, which will benefit in higher yield and also ease the labor costs, improve the quality, and of course, preservation of the soil fertility. The Potato Festival, Nagaland Potato Festival aims to give the local potatoes of Nagaland a window of advertisement and exposure. The visitors will get a unique experience of the local organic potatoes from various corners of the state, which are rare and unique to its own region. The festival will also encourage various other organic products. The festival will boost the economy of the farmers and villagers by creating a market with the flow of visitors who can be bought local as well as tourists. The festival will also create partnership with the concerned government department, NGOs, through which important schemes and benefits for the farmers can be shared. And for the next, I will give time to our assistant. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mashlin Nusa Richard, and I'm the event coordinator of the first ever potato festival in Nagaland. And I'm, I was very excited to hear about the Potato Festival being organized in my own village. And uh, here I would like to highlight about the cultivation, the process of production of organic potato in our region. Uh, potato is one of the major starch tuber vegetables and is largely consumed worldwide. It is a nutritional food and considered superior to other vegetables. Potato not <coughs> only being a nutritional value, but it is also one of the main sources of income generating crops among the farmers. Potato cultivation in our region. Uh, Jakama, especially in our region, we are blessed with different climate vegetation, favoring different seasons of plantation. Almost every household cultivates potato for their own consumption and also generates income through the surplus. And there are two traditional methods that we still follow and practice. The first one is the potato plantation in the terrace rice fields. Both potato and paddy are cultivated on rotational basis in the same paddy field. And it is a double harvest or double cropping for the terrace rice cultivators. Potato cultivation in the terrace rice field is mainly for consumption and the 
paddy fields are being plowed right after the paddy harvest and the land formation, the preparation of land starts in the month of December and the soil preparation for the uh, potato plantation is done in the month of January. The plantation of potato seed, uh, seeds starts early February till mid of March and uh, weeding is done a couple of times and it takes three full months to get mature and it is harvested during the month end of April and first week of May. And the second potato plantation that will follow is in the June, June fields. Potato plantation in the June fields is mainly for the seed potatoes. Uh, they are grown on the hill slopes of the mountains at a higher altitude where the climate is a little bit colder than compared to the other areas. <coughs> Shifting cultivation is still practiced and uh, it takes four to five years on rotation basis. And preparation of the potato fields starts in the month of December and land preparation is completed by February. Plantation of the seed potato starts in the mid of March and it takes almost six to five years for harvest. It takes a little much longer time compared to the terrestrial fields. And um, it is also, uh, the weeding is also done for a couple of times and <coughs> uh, after, after the weeding, um, the, the farmers, uh, they have to go to the June fields for um, this protection from uh, invading from the animals which uh, eat up the seed potatoes in the field. So, uh, like in the month of December and January, most of the farmers, they spend their time in the June fields to protect their seed potatoes. And after harvesting of the potatoes, they are kept in the bamboo baskets or uh, in the floor. And the seeds are also often uh, put in the sun to dry. And the surplus is uh, brought to the villages or the neighbor neighboring villages for uh, sale. And uh, I would also like to highlight the challenges that our potato farmers are facing today. Um, we found that the lack of modern technology and machineries uh, lack of scientific method of cultivation, lack of proper infrastructure of farming, like proper irrigational canal and power tiller footpath, a lack of technical knowledge of high productivity, pest management, and seed protection, high price of pot seed potato, and price uncertainty among the cultivators, and also lack of storage facilities. <coughs> And um, potato festival has been in much discussion over the past years. And today I'm very grateful for um, being able to uh, engage with our like-minded brothers. And uh, we came up with the same idea of organizing a potato festival, the first ever potato festival in Magdalene. And today I'm glad that the dream of potato festival is happening in my own village. And uh, I would like to conclude with a uh, scripture passage from the book of Isaiah 622 and it says, When the time is right, I the Lord will make it happen. Come on, come on, thank you. <coughs> okay, uh, thank you. Well, uh, once again, uh, please Good afternoon to everyone. I, once again, on behalf of the organizers, would like to thank every one of you, and uh, especially thank our heartfelt thanks and appreciation, especially to the, the media fraternity. So, I am Mr. David Poto from New, and I am the event manager for the, this Potato Festival. So, I here I would like to supplement some of the various activities that we will be undertaking during the festival. Some of the highlights of the festivals are as follows. There will be, you know, prize for the best and the most you know, innovative stalls. And also there will be uh, some uh, prizes for the biggest potato, which will be judged by some of the experts in the field of agriculture. 
So the prices will be uh, power tillers, uh, grass cutter, and other uh, modern agriculture uh, machineries, which will be solely uh, sponsored by the farm craft. Uh, as part of the festival, we are expecting around 100 stalls and also a footfall of around 5,000 uh, footfalls from across the state, which will be comprising of uh, the, the young, old, the farmers, SSGs from various uh, districts and villages, uh, representatives from farmers from various uh, corners of the state, uh, officials and guests from across the state. Uh, you know, much of uh, much of the farmer was told on the that, that very day for the festival would be focused on the potato. However, we will also be that there will be various uh, food stalls, a number of food stalls, and also there will be various stalls which will be selling other local uh, products and other vegetables, which will be purely uh, organic. And also there will be some agencies and other banks like Nabar, and also there will be advertisement of other agricultural. Uh, machineries and products. Uh, there will be also live demonstration on how uh, a potato plantation is done, which will be undertaken by Green Garden. We are also uh, the organizers are also inviting some of the recruited scholars, PhD scholars, and researchers from outside Nagaland, which will, they will become uh, part of the festival for their technical support. And as a festival, we know music plays a very important part of our life. So in the evening session, as a festival, as a full flash festival, there will be uh, live concerts with where some well-known artists will be coming and performing their uh, songs, their original tracks. Uh, we all are very, very much aware with the, uh, the most, some, one of the most commonly played songs, Zowel, which is uh, commonly played by among the uh, youngsters. So uh, the original artist, Mr. Lee, he will be also coming and performing to the artists uh, and controlling the audience. We also have a number of lineup artists like the Weekend of Kohima, Weekend in Kohima, sorry, comprising of three young talented artists. We also have Miss Senti Wing Jamir, all the way from St. Joseph College Takama. She is also a very, very young and promising artist who will be coming and controlling the audience. So, Apart from this, we also will, in order to promote the indigenous traditional games, we will be also conducting various uh, traditional indigenous games, such as Pieta competition, Petipur competition, Tulopa competition. So there will be three indigenous traditional competitions. The first two will be primarily for the men, and the last, the latest Tulopa will be competition will be for the women. And also there will be a cash money for all the indigenous uh, uh, games and competition and also a minimum of rupees or rupees 100 will be uh, taken for the as part of the registration of stalls and those who are going to be part of the competition uh, a, a sum of rupees 10,000 and 5,000 respectively for will be given for the first and the, the first position and, and the first runner up for the PETA competition whereas 5,000 and 3,000 will be for the uh, competition and for Tulupa competition we are still yet to decide still, still on the, on the process so these are some of the highlights of the, of the various activities that will be part of the festival. Yeah. And also, the Nagaland Potato Festival, <coughs> we are still inviting all the farmers across Nagaland from any district, any tribe. <coughs> you can come and register. Registration is still open. You can come and open up your stall. If your field does not have good potato yield, also it's okay. You can come and sell your other organic products. We will be, uh, will appreciate all the farmers' take active participation. Um, thank you for your time again. Jakama, there is no specific calculation as such because there is no proper registration and proper like that for the farmers. But uh, can you give an estimation? Uh, so this festival, this uh, uh, we have done arranged the date in such a way. That as, as far the harvest time of the that particular region, mm -hmm. not only Jakarta but Yushema and other southern villages. For the paddy field, uh, we start cultivating in January, and harvest is in late April or early May for the paddy field. And for the village, uh, for the mountain, I'm sorry, for the mountainous region, uh, it is a little cold, so the uh, the. Cultivation time it comes from 
April to May and the harvest goes up to August. Uh, as of now, we don't have any fixed rate. So we are also um, approaching the councils and the youth members to please line up a price so that it will become a little um, systematic. Uh, as a layman, before the potato festival was discussed, as a layman only, like, I personally, I used to observe the market of potato out there in Jakama, uh, since I'm in Jakama. Like, um, I can see generally for the southern region, that almost every household, they have a potato cultivation field. Small, small, not large, but some of them, they are being large scale, but uh, let me tell about the small one. So from there, and the demand was so high. Our neighbors, our friends and colleagues, they always ask me since I'm from Jakarta, potato, potato, na. But uh, the supply does not reach. So since then, like uh, I was, it was in my mind, we should have a potato festival where we can study such things, like uh, the ridges. This potato festival will bring in the farmers. So when the farmers come, we'll have a better knowledge of how many farmers are there and we can register them through this festival. Then we'll have an estimation idea. There are so many SCG members, but apart from the SCG members also, there are so many uh, independent farmers who are cultivating potato, potato cultivation. And most of them, they are cultivating in the mountainous region, it seems. But we are still not aware of everyone. We don't know personally everyone. So this potato festival will be a platform where we can bring in them, we'll gather information, and also we can register them as such, and we'll have a better idea then. Uh, actually, it's written the highest year, but then later on, when we consult the agriculture experts, we can do it as it should not be the highest year, but it should be uh, on basing on the biggest, the biggest potato. Yeah. So it will be done. The judge will not be done by us, it will be done by the agriculture experts. So they will be doing all judgment. But how? What the, the dollars do will be judging about the size and also the weight.